Hello friends, it's Joe Zawo here again with another tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the MetaTrader 4 or MT5 app. There are a lot of updates, alright? We have MT4 and we have MT5. So this is the advanced version which is called MetaTrader 5. So firstly, the first thing you need to do is what? You go towards the App Store, alright? If you are using iPhone or you go towards Play Store if you are using Android. And download the MT5 app. So you just need to go and you just what download this particular app that you are basically seeing. Okay, this is the app you are seeing here. All right, let me just use this arrow. This is the app. Just type MT5 and you are good to what go. So now there are different features which I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how to add what your currency pairs and everything. If you don't know what a currency pair is, you can check my playlist Forex for Beginners. I have a complete Forex for Beginners course. So the first thing you are going to do, you are going to see like a lot of currencies here. here. So you have BTC, Zao, U, GBP. These are the three currency pairs that I'm using. But if I want to add, all I need to do is like what? Just go at the top here. All right. All right. At the top here, where they are always pointing. And you can basically press this plus. And you watch these are forex pairs, crypto energies indices, stocks, crypto course, currencies, and all and forex. So you can basically chat for any currency pair you want. This is euro. Let's say you want to do euro card, you are going to have euro GBP, euro JPY. You can just basically add USD JPY. All right, USD JPY. You can just what add. So now, if we go back to our chat, you see we have a lot of what of these ones. All right, we have new currency pairs. The next thing you basically do, you need to come back at the top here again. You press this pencil if you want to delete. You are seeing this delete box. You just press and you can basically what delete whatever you want to delete again to keep your charts quite clean. All right, so now we have what these three currency pairs. I only trade these three currency pairs BTC USD, Zao USD, this is gold, and GBP USD. So after the next thing you want to basically do is like you basically need to what connect first of all you need to connect this is a demo account i'm using xness all right if you don't have an xness account you can check the link in the description or the comment section so this is basically you can watch my video on how to connect xness to mt5 or mt4 there's a video the link will be in the description as well so you have done with this code okay now we move towards this chart all right this chart basically is let me just cancel all these trades i have like these trades that are currently ongoing demo i'll close all of this let me just close i'll open new trades and show you guys what i'm talking about so you have what the second bottom here you have charts so this chart is basically showing you all what the movement of what price at that particular moment okay so if you move to the top we have this arrow is pointing we have the course here all right this course here basically is what if you want to know a particular price you can move to left you move to right to know a particular what level or the price range at that particular moment as you are seeing if you want to take it off you just press again this course here at the top all right this then we have the second one here you just press you see where the arrow is pointing all right if you just tap this, this is where you add your indicators. These are like what you are seeing at the bottom here, this red line and this green line. This is stochastic. So what I'll do, if you just press here, you can basically what delete. I'm going to delete and I'm going to show you how to add. So you can see now we just have what the charts. These two lines you are seeing here are basically what the red line and the green line is basically the bid price and the ask price. Okay. So now what you need to do to add indicators basically is just what go to this place here all right and you just tab in and you can just tab in this plus fx here these are all indicators okay these are all indicators you can just add whatever indicator you want to add for me i love this oscillator uh, indicator and i also love using this stochastic oscillator so i'll just like what save and if you go to your chart now you can see the indicator at the bottom so you can basically add as much indicator as you basically want all the indicators are basically here so you can see a lot of indicators whatever you add you can basically see okay 
you can basically see here so now if you basically want to delete all right you just come back here you press what delete like this and your indicator is gone all right then this one you are seeing what h1 you are seeing here h1 this is where you tend to select what your time frame if you tab in here you see m1 is one minute m5 five minutes all right and m15 m30 h1 h4 all right you just select your time limit from that particular zone then at the top you are basically seeing what yeah let me just show you where this arrow is pointing this is what your other types okay you see when we basically tap this one you can see other type so what you need to do if you basically just have to if you come here where you're seeing the arrow pointing below you see sell limit right so if you tap in you are going to see buy stop you tap in buy stop limit sell limit and all you can basically set this but i'm going to show you how to set it in another way okay then we move to this other place here all right this is basically if you tap this where you tend to see what you set your lot size okay you set your lot size so if you tap this arrow all right you can basically enter what your lot size here or if you tap this you are going to see what you can see 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 so these are all what mini lot right 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.9 these are all what mini lot so you can just select whatever lot size you want all right so you can just what select all right this is where you said then if you want you can just tap sell and you tap what buy so for this tutorial let's say let's just open um, btc let's open btc chart all right so let's say we just want to buy so you just open the chart from the chart you can basically buy from the chart okay you just enter your lot size let's say 0 0.01 okay and you tap from this point here if you want to buy you press buy so this is buy and this is what sell so if i want to buy now i'll just press buy all right now we are in the trade okay if you go back you press this trade you are going to see all right you are basically going to what see we have what btc us this first price here all right this price you are seeing here we are the always 20 is your entry price this price here is what the second price is the current market price okay you are saying the price of bitcoin is going to what move up so for you to be in profit bitcoin should pass this your entry price so you have balance equity margin free margin and margin level the balance is the total amount of money available in your account equity is the current profit or current loss you are currently having margin is the amount of money which you are putting to enter a trade the free margin is the current money that is available for you to open other position and we have margin level margin level is the percentage all right which you have used in your margin so out of this 1.68 what have you used okay all right so this other next um, figure here all right you look at this one where you are seeing this blue we have trade so trade basically gives you what summary okay it gives you what summary now we go back to this chart there are some some things i want to show you here now let's say you want to set what your take profit and your stop loss this is the good feature about mt5 okay let's say you want to set now you see where you are saying this order this blue line okay this is your line all right this is your entry this buy order you just need to tap the you see just press and you are going to see what sl and tp sl for stop loss tp for take profit now let's say you want to set your take profit all right you just press take profit so you see now right this is for take profit so you can basically move this or take profit to whatever point and you are basically saying here like it's going to show you the money what you are going to make you see so if this basically reach it's this tp from this current market price which the price of bitcoin moves up here you are going to make 10.80 so it's showing you by point okay 100 point basically is what 10 pips 200 point is what 20 pips 300 point is what 30 pips 400 point is 40 pips 500 point is 50 pips all right so this is they just show you by point so you can basically make your uh, take profit here you can move it all right you don't need to basically go to what this calculator again so after you have moved your take profit you need to press this blue all right you need to press this blue line here all right where this arrow is pointing for your take profit to be on the screen so you press blue and it's going to take you here you press what modify all right 
so now your take profit is there you see our take profit is there so let's say we want to set our stop loss all you need to do again is what just to press all right this your position here press this you are seeing sl you press sl then you draw all right don't forget we are saying what well, the price of bitcoin is going up so the sl should be here let's say we are making ten dollar and we want to lose what well, just three dollar so after you have this is your sl you just come again you press this blue line okay when you press this blue line then you press what modify so you have basically set what your take profit and what your stop loss okay you have basically set your take profit and your stop loss this is our take profit at the top here and our stop loss so if you want to basically close you just touch all right you you see if you want to close you can basically just tab in and what close the trade all right so this is how you set your take profit and what your stop loss so if you want to modify let's say if you want to change the position you can just touch this your trade entry all right this is your buy then you drag it again and you press what modify don't forget you always need to press modify okay for it to be static on the screen if you just move without pressing modify then you are not going to set your take profit so this is basically it guys for this particular surface i'm going to show you how to set up your candle shortly so you come to trade this is what we are currently in a loss all right we are currently in a loss so let's say we want to open another trade let's say we want to open for gold okay let's say we want to open for gold so let's come to the chart if you basically want to open you don't need to go back all you need to basically do is like this area here where this arrow is pointing just tap this you are going to see what the currency pairs so let's say i want to open for gold now this is gold so let's say i want to buy gold i'll just press this and i press buy okay so now we have what purchase gold if we go to trade you are seeing what we have now zero and what btc okay zero and btc so let's come back to the chart let's say you want to set your take profit you just press again all right then you set what take profit then you move up all right you can basically move up okay then you press the blue and you modify let's say you want to set your stop loss you press against sl like this and what you modify you see this is how you set your take profit and what your stop loss okay if you just tap this now you are seeing what take profit stop loss right then if you tap this again you set take profit take loss stop loss sorry so now i want to show you guys something all right now when you go to this trade you are seeing this three points here all right this three points here now let's say you are going to losing trades you have losing trades and winning trade you can basically tab in here if you want you can close all position at a stretch all right empty for you just need to close what one position one position one after the other but now you say close all position okay if you tap close all position now we have closed all our position let's say you have what a winning trade and a losing trade let's open this again let's just make new order let's just buy okay i'm not going to analyze anything i just want to show you guys this is a demo account let's just watch buy so now we are in this trade okay so as i was saying now if you let's say your bitcoin is in profit all right and your zero your gold is in losses when you basically press this one you are going to see close all position you are going to say close losing trade if you are in profit you are going to see close all what winning trade okay all profitable trade is what you are going to see so if you want to only close your profit you close the profit you only want to close your loss you close your loss so now if i press close loss i'm losing all trade so now you see we have closed our what trades okay you can automatically close even if you have 50 trades you can close them all with just one stretch okay then you will basically come to what history history is basically i just opened this account so if you come to today you come to what last three months you are basically going to see everything i just deposited this all right and i left this that's why you are seeing profit of minus one or two i opened a trade from the demo and just went to bed last night so this is basically what for you to see your history these are the orders that you have made all right you have filled what 20 orders these are the deals and everything okay these are all the trade history yeah so i want to show you guys another thing you come to the top you come to this where you are seeing these three points all right you tab in here you are going to see what news if you want like news update you are going to see here. if you move again you are going to see mailbox and let's come to setting okay so setting you need to turn this advanced mode 
now if you want you can basically turn this other sound like when you press by you are going to hear poof so let's do this so you guys can see now this sound is on if i basically try to make an order now you see that's the sound okay that's the sound very low and all so you come back here you come to setting you just basically select all this you want enable news and all this stuff you can just set them from here so now come to the chat okay when you come to this chat just tap this this blue line you are seeing here is going to appear so you can select your time frame from here as well you can select what the indicators here but you are basically seeing what we have setting okay this is what setting just tap this setting this is what you can select the candle type you want this is candlestick line chart bar charts you just select candle all right you open high and close it's going to show you the open price of the candle the high the low all right if you understand the anatomy of the candle if not kindly watch the forex for beginners everything is there so you see you turn on what trade position you want to see your position trade orders if you have any pending orders like buy stop buy limit sell limit all right and all these are trade history sell stop and take profit levels you want to see them the ask price which is the buying price okay then trade notification and everything so these are all here if you want you can go to color at the bottom again all right just look at color so if you want your bull candle which is like whenever the price of is going up you what basically see what red green candle when the price is going down you see what so you can change this to blue or whatever color you want and you press what save okay this is basically what the setting all right then you have this section which is like message this is not important you can leave so you can basically add your currency pairs as much as you want just select your currency pairs here you add okay these are forex pairs if you want to add if you want to trade crypto you just tab in the plus and you tab what crypto again all right so these are different things you can basically do in the meta together five all right this is advanced edition okay so this is it guys if you have any question let me know in the comment section i'll be happy to respond within 24 hours and if you're interested in learning trading all right be it crypto or forex you can basically reach me at instagram or facebook all right i'm going to what organize a one month free training the third batch all right i've trained the first batch and currently the second batch is ongoing it is only percent free all right so guys this is basically it for this tutorial now we have this trade if you want to close this trade all you need to do is like what just swipe like what to the left okay you swipe towards the left and you just press this then if you want you can watch you see at the bottom close with loss if you want you can also set your take profit here let's say they send they sent you a signal okay they send you a signal all you need to do is what just come here and you just enter what the new order okay so if you go to the top you are seeing market execution all these ones and all but it's easy for you to do from the chart you can also enter your lot size here and everything your stop loss and all and you buy or you sell also it's another way all right so we are currently in a loss so if i want i will slide this and what close which means we have closed our position so guys this is basically it for the tutorial for meta trader 5 thanks a lot stay blessed see in upcoming tutorials ensure you subscribe if you find value in this tutorial stay blessed